This is not an instructional video and uh, was not meant to be. It's for entertainment purposes only. Death or serious injury may occur if you try this at home. So the hitch on my little dump truck there is uh, a little too low to pull my three axle equipment trailer and uh, kind of wears the tires out when it's nose down like that. Not the easiest thing to pull that way either. So I decided to build a plate to raise the pinnel part of it up high enough to pull that trailer level. Now make no mistake, this thing is not factory and not designed to be factory, nor is it strong like the factory one. So I won't be pulling my big heavy loads with this particular apparatus. It'll be strong enough to pull the loads that I'm going to be pulling here uh, in the next little while. I'll get the, uh, the bigger truck we have going that pulls this trailer usually. And uh, if I need to pull something heavy, I'll use that one. I kind of thought putting some chain slots in this might be a good idea, but after it was all said and done, I'm not sure it was. But I can always cut that off later if I decide I don't want it there. Consider uh, subscribing to my channel. We do all kinds of neat little things. Excavation, mechanic work, welding, all kinds of different stuff. We're going to do some cabin finish work and that kind of stuff. So consider subscribing to my channel and please hit that like button. It helps us a lot.
found a little brass fitting to use to help center the bit, get those holes lined up best I can. Like I said, this is pretty much shade tree mechanic in here, but we'll, we'll get it figured out and get it close enough to use. Sinks a lot site motto is get off your ass and do something. Some people ask why I stay so busy. Get off your ass and do something. Or get off your ass and do something. Always wear ear and eye protection out here. I also uh, have a leather apron I use when I'm grinding, welding, and stuff. Should wear a long sleeve shirt to uh, protect your arms and try to cover any skin that might be exposed to the welding. That uh, bright flash from the welding will burn your skin. Oiling your air tools is extremely important. Two or three drops, they're good to go. Grinding enough of the slag off so that the metal will sit flat on the drill press to drill all the holes in the drill. It's pretty important to uh, make sure that they're sitting down flat. Oops, almost lost my drill. drill press has been a good one but I need to take a little time and do a little maintenance on it.
chuck doesn't tighten on the bits very well, especially the smaller bits. It uh, sometimes requires multiple times tightening that up. My grandson came by to finish cleaning up a couple wheels we're going to mount some tires on for his pickup. I'm cutting some strap to strengthen the, uh, the plate for that receiver hitch. We decided to use our air scaler to take that heavy rust off those old rims. We've got a 65 Ford pickup. Some of those rims have uh, seen better days, I think. Grinding a little bit of the slag off the sides of those straps. I'm not going to get too carried away. I'll put the cut side down on the plate. And welder in tough. will be fine. Grandson's done some wire feed type welding. He decided he wanted to try the stick welding for once, so we're going to let him practice on some of this. See how he does. He found out pretty quick it's just a little bit different than uh, the wire feed. You gotta keep pushing that uh, electrode down, follow the weld. It uh, takes a little getting used to. Been wire feed welding, and it's just a uh, good experience for him. Now, I'm no welder, really. I can make things stick. His uh, dad and his other grandpa are really good welders, so those are the guys that should be teaching him the stick welding stuff. And I think they've been uh, working with him on the wire feed a little bit. Making that the initial strike is uh, a little different. Stick a few rods here and there. So once he gets used to, uh, to making that strike, you know, basically strike it like a match. And uh, it'll work for him.
Yeah, the welding's complete. It's time to assemble the hitch. Well, there's the hitch, yeah, such as it is. We'll try it out and see how it works. We're going to go pick up his 65 Ford here in just a little bit. The trailer sits nice and level on the truck now. That's a big improvement for that trailer. If you like these kind of videos, please consider subscribing and hit that like button. It helps us a lot.